Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Are you looking for a nice stretch that you can do before and or after a nice hit or a Tabata workout? This is a great one to try. Okay, we're gonna start with our heat feet hip width distance apart. We need to take the arms all the way out for the nice big breath. Inhale, and then exhale, bend the knees as you take the arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, breathe out. Breathing in, touch to the fingers, and then exhale, breathe out. Sway to the right side. Come on back up. Breathing in, reach up, and then exhale, sway to the other side. Perfect. Inhale, reach. I want you to open up the arms, cross the left over the right, take the arms down. Breathing in, touch the fingers, and then exhale, sway to that right side. Perfect. Come on back up, open up the arms, uncross the feet, release. Breathing in, arms up, touch. Breathe out, open up the arms, cross the right over the left. Arms up, come on back up, touch, and then sway over to the left. Breathe out. Great. Inhale, release, arms out. Exhale, take your hands down. Breathe out for a nice bend forward. Great, come on up to a flat back here. Breathing in, so to the side, it would look like this. Come down to the toes, breathe out. Then inhale, take your arms all the way up, reach up to the sky, and then exhale, take your hands down. Perfect. I want you to roll up those shoulders. Breathe in and out, in, and out, great. Now, I want you to widen the stance a little bit more, okay? Widening so the feet are hit, uh, more than hip width distance apart and the toes are facing the front. Take the arms up again, touch the fingers, sway more significantly to the right side, stretching into the side of the body and into the waist. Great, come on back up, breathe in, and then exhale, sway to the other side. Perfect. Inhale, lift. Let's take that left hand to the right foot. Lifting up the chest, lifting up the hip. Good, come on back up, breathing in. And then exhale, we're gonna switch. Right hand down to left foot, and the left hand's going up to the sky. Lifting up the hip and the chest. Excellent, keep on breathing. Breathing in, arms up, and then chest up, and then we're gonna come down, breathe out. <sighs> Excellent. From here, I want you to bend into that right leg, and then we're gonna start to stretch into this left leg here, okay? Making sure when you're in this kind of pose, you're gonna put most of the weight into your backside. So my, into my heels and into my bum, okay? Chest up, breathe in here and out. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna switch, we're gonna bend over to the other side. Again, same thing, chest up, but weight in the back side. Right in the back, right into the heels. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out. Well done. We're gonna come on back up here, taking the hands and bending the knees onto the inner thighs, okay? See how my fingertips are facing inward? I'm gonna bend one shoulder in, and then come on back to center. We're gonna bend the other shoulder inward, and then come on back to center. Let's do that again. Breathing in and out, inhaling and exhaling. Great. We're gonna to start to turn the body over to the right side. I want you to bend and come on up. And let's go the other way. Bending, come on up. Perfect. I want you to straighten up the legs, put the heels together, take the arms all the way up, touch the fingers, Bend down, two more, breathe in, breathe out, one more, breathe in and out. Perfect, straighten up those legs, let's toe heel those feet back in, let's get down to the mat, so both knees down onto the mat, and then we're gonna step the right foot in front. Okay, we're gonna stretch into the psoas, that's that nasty tendon that starts, kind of like connects from the middle of the chest all the way down to the middle of the thigh. We're gonna open this up, area up. If you'd like to take your hands down to the ground, great. Or if you wanna take your hands onto the thigh, that's great too. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath here, breathing in and out. If you wanna melt more into it, hands come down, breathing in and out. I want you to draw the belly in, squaring off the hips. Now we're gonna focus on keeping this leg 
um, slightly bent, but relaxed. I want you to hinge at the hips, draw the belly into the back, and I want us to melt forward. Nice breath here, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out. Perfect, I want you to bend into that front knee, slide that front foot back and melt into child's pose. Sits bones are gonna go down to the heels. I want you to stretch into the top, front of the mat with your arms so you're focusing on opening up the chest and also open up the space between the shoulder blades. At the same time, we're gonna put a little bit of pressure into the hands so that the sits bones are really melting over the heels. So we're gonna melt forward here, taking two breaths, breathing in and out. One more breath, inhaling and exhaling. Great, slowly come on up. We're gonna step the left foot between the hands, so we're doing the same thing on the other side. Okay. So we have to choose here, hands down or hands to the thighs. Breathing in and out. Remember, we're working on opening on that psoas on the right side or melting further down. Inhaling, exhaling. Well done. We're gonna square, square off those hips. Begin to straighten the back of the front leg, keeping this micro bend in that knee. Okay, so square hips, drawing the belly in and back. Toes can be up if they wish or down, your choice, your warm up or warm down, cool down. We're gonna melt forward. Inhaling here, exhaling. So remembering on the exhalation, we're gonna try to focus on relaxing. So one more breath, in and out. Very good. Bend into that front knee and then slide that foot back. And we're gonna melt into that child's pose again. Okay, opening up the chest, opening up the back, and it's melting, rounding and grounding those hips behind you. Inhaling here, exhaling out. One more time, breathing in and out. Okay, we're gonna slowly come on up. I'm gonna turn myself around. So I want you to widen the knees apart. Big toes together, knees spread wider apart, okay, like this. And I want you to take the hands down. Taking the right, left hand up, I'm going opposite of you. Taking the left hand up, we're gonna breathe in, nice little virtual five to the side. And then we're gonna scoop through, exhale. Breathing in, lift up. Exhale, scooping through. Again, breathing in and out. Okay, come back to center, other side. Lift and scoop, breathing in and out, in and out. Perfect, come on back to center. Let's bring those knees together, lifting them one by one into each other. Come onto your sits bones. I'd like to, you to take the legs around and see if you can have the bottoms of your feet together sitting up nice and tall, shoulders on top of the waist. Do you remember in grade school, maybe you did something like this? Down just a little. Okay, if that's not feeling good, I want you to just sit here, take a nice breath, sitting nice and tall, breathing in and out. And now breathe in, I want you to hinge at the hips. And once you start to feel something here on the inner and the outer uh, hips, thighs, Round your upper back and start to melt forward. Okay, we're gonna take two breaths here. Breathing in and out. Inhaling and exhaling. Okay, tighten your belly muscles, come on up. Let's take our feet, um, feet back onto the ground. Knees are gonna be back together. Let's take the feet in front of us. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little side profile here. Feet should be hip width distance apart and go ahead and bend those knees, okay? So if the backs of the legs are already tight from that workout or before your workout, you keep them nice and soft. So I'm gonna show you soft knees here. I want you to sit up nice and tall, breathe in, reach all the way up, hinging at the hips. Once you start to feel something at the back of the legs, okay? And I don't want you to feel anything in the lower back, once you start feeling that, I want you to round the upper back and begin to melt forward. 
Okay, so whenever you're doing forward folds, there's no bouncing, pulling, or tugging. I want you to resist that urge. Taking the hands down to the sides, not touching your feet or your legs. To the, so taking your hands to the sides of the legs. I want you to melt, rounding your upper back so there's no strain here. Just melting for two whole breaths. Breathing in and out. Inhaling and exhaling. Very good. So tight belly to support the spine. We're gonna come on back up. Ah, perfect. Now come into any comfortable seated position. So it could be sitting like in, in Sukhasana, easy sitting pose, like cross-legged position, or maybe you're gonna be like this. Okay, so find what's best for you. We're just gonna rotate the head is the head, we really neglect the head and the neck and the shoulder. So we're gonna just turn to the right, come back to center, turn to the left, come back to center, right ear to right shoulder, give a little stretch, sending energy to the opposite side. Release, come back up, but to the other side, left ear to left shoulder. Taking some energy, sending it out through the opposite end. Releasing, breathing, drawing the chin in for a nice chin tuck to lengthen the back of the neck and looking down. Inhaling, exhaling. Great, come on back to center and you should be ready to go. Either you start to start your practice, your workout uh, or to get on with your day because you've just had a great workout and finished it. If you like this little stretch, please do subscribe to me. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.